A lot of people have heard that the U2 is referred to as the Dragon Lady, and uh, the rumor that I like, at least best, and I'll continue to, to further, is that uh, we call it the Dragon Lady because uh, sometimes it flies just like a lady. It's graceful, it's smooth, uh, flies perfectly. But at other times, and it can happen just like that, it turns into a dragon, and that's, the, uh, that's when it becomes the more difficult airplane uh, to fly, and especially when you get down close to the ground uh, to land the thing. Sometimes it flies like a lady, sometimes it handles like a dragon. I don't know how it got the name, but she sure behaves like it. Uh, you know, some days you'll go up and fly her and she's just uh, the most perfect lady to dance with, and then some days it seems like the same type of day, I'm feeling the same, uh, she'll really bite you. Uh, and things can get pretty gnarly uh, in a hurry. You know, one thing that we kind of forget in the high altitude community is that it's a weird place to be flying up at 70,000 feet. There's just not a whole lot of air. The airplane is designed to do it, and most of the time it feels great doing it, but we uh, kind of take it for granted. Uh, so when things go south, they go south in, uh, in a hurry, and it's not forgiving, um, and it really snaps you back to reality of, hey, you know, yes, I'm focused on all of these other things while I'm taking care of the airplane, but the airplane absolutely has to be my, my primary focus because it, it'll bite you.